Well, you might put your question as quickly as possible. At the end of the first quarter, you, you told me that uh, most of the votes were shown in underspend. Uh, our excellent parliamentary budget office uh, reported, I think, on, on the, May, the end of May figures, and again showing underspend. So I just wonder uh, what's the situation at the moment. There seems to be a kind of common alarm between yourselves and Fianna Fáil uh, in relation to the levels of expenditure, in particular in health uh, this year. You seem to be doing a sort of double act in, in, uh, in uh, constraining Thank the you. health vote. So uh, Thank thanks, you, Minister. Can response, please. Uh, uh, as set out in the most recent fiscal monitor, total gross voted expenditure at the end of May was just over €26 billion. Euro. This is €145 million euro or 0.6% below profile. Gross voted current expenditure is €65 million euro below profile, and of the 17 ministerial vote groups, 12 are below profile on current expenditure and gross vote of capital expenditure is also below profile at the end of May. So currently, at the moment, uh, for both current and capital expenditure, the figures are below profile, uh, but it should be said that this still delivers a very large increase in government expenditure overall for the year, a lot of which has been driven by our increased investment in capital expenditure in schools, in hospitals, in roads, in buses, um, and I've already acknowledged earlier on as has Minister Harris, uh, that the key area uh, that changed in May was health expenditure. And while that is still below profile, there was a significant change in that single month. Thank you. Deputy? Well, sir, uh, again, the public will find it hard to understand uh, the spending is below profile, uh, but you seem to be referring to the spend as compar compared to, to last year in relation to health. Um, and, I mean, have you taken on board uh, the, the, I suppose, the, the, the second year of very serious criticism by uh, IFAC uh, in relation to expenditure uh, generally? Uh, I, I think it's your colleague may have said at one of your party meetings, uh, Deputy, you know, your predecessor, Deputy Noonan, uh, that there's no point in having a dog uh, unless the dog barks. Uh, but, uh, of course, Minister Noonan said in an earlier crisis years ago that um, the dogs bark, but the caravan moves on. Uh, so I'm not sure where exactly, uh, what exactly the, uh, the view of Fine Gael is, indeed, of IFAC, uh, whether or not uh, IFAC, uh, uh, the IFAC's uh, pr prescription in relation to the three-year expenditure ceilings, uh, but also, Minister, in relation to uh, the spending uh, speed limits, uh, you know, the net policy spending. Uh, do, do you intend like, to respond to those crit criticisms? Uh, and to be able to show that um, uh, the budget that you framed uh, back in October was the, was the budget to, to adequately uh, um, fund all our departments. Response, Minister? It's precisely because I'm responding back to the points that were made by IFAC that I'm saying that even though spending is below profile, uh, both from a total government point of view and indeed from many of our government departments as well, uh, I'm still making the point and acknowledging that a change in health expenditure did occur in, in the month of May. And the fact that we are still below profile um, is important, but to see a big shift in that month is something that I have to signal to the House and to the Oireachtas um, and within government as something that will need careful examination, particularly as we move into June. Uh, that's what I'm doing, uh, and then I'll work within government and with Minister Harris uh, to respond back to that as an issue, if it develops as an issue.